And this month is pretty bad too. I need to find a way to get more customers. It was a cold night on the coldest day of the year during an intense cold wave. I, our hero, 27 years old, was staring at this month's earnings and thinking to myself. I took over the inn full of memories from my parents because I didn't want it to close down, but it was too difficult so an amateur like me. Maybe quitting my job was a mistake. Until about three months ago, I was working in the editorial department of a travel-related magazine for a major publishing company. I had a beautiful girlfriend who I was engaged to, and my days were smooth sailing, but... What do you mean you're closing the inn? Sorry, Mom fell from the stairs during work. The injury isn't that bad, but we're getting older. Every year there's less and less guests, so I discussed it with Mom and decided... Okay, then I'll quit my job and take over the inn. It's not something you can decide so easily. Don't you have a fiancé at the company, too? If I talk to her, she'll understand. The company is important, but the inn is more important. Then you can take over the inn, but make sure to talk to your girlfriend first. After that, I told my girlfriend the situation and took her to the inn on her free day. Huh? I didn't think the inn was so run down and had no guests. What? You said your parents owned a well-established inn, so I went out with you thinking you'd be a millionaire, but I feel like an idiot. Well, what are you saying suddenly? We're engaged, right? Oh, I just responded randomly because if I said no, I'd lose my source of money. W what And I'm dating the sub-editor now. Don't get close to me anymore. Goodbye. My beloved girlfriend dumped me, and the next day I submitted my resignation to the company. I thought it'd definitely become a very popular inn and I'd get revenge. But maybe it's better to close it down now. Uh, um, excuse me? What? Uh, yes, welcome! Is there something wrong? Do you have any available rooms tonight? I do, but... Can you at least let my daughter stay for a hundred yen? Please. What? I'm very aware that I'm being selfish, but she's still six years old, and I keep putting her in unfortunate situations. Please, I'll do anything. Mom, I'm cold. What's your name? Akine Hayase. I'm six years old. Okay, I must have been cold outside. Come on, let's quickly go to a warm room. Yeah. Thank you. My name is Kahoyase. I'll come pick her up tomorrow morning, so I'll be leaving now. Oh, I should pay now, right? Are you fine with leaving Akane-chan on her own? What? But I don't have enough money. I don't need money. Please, enjoy the delicious food and hot springs that are in. Thank you. However, I couldn't show her to a regular guest room, so I showed them to an empty room for employees only, which is currently not being used by anyone than me. Mom, it's such a nice room! Hey, Akane, don't get excited. I'm glad you like it. I'll leave robes here, so please rest well. They then enjoyed a hot spring bath and a hot meal, which they said they had not had in several days. Akane-chan was so tired that she fell into a deep sleep as soon as she got into her futon. How do you feel? You feel calmer? Yes. Thanks to your hospitality, we've been able to enjoy delicious food, hot springs, and warmth for the first time in a long time. Mom, the food is so yummy. Akane. I'm glad you seem happy, and... You want to know the situation, right? Oh, um, if it's too hard to talk about, then you don't have to. I was just wondering. Maybe I could help some more. Actually, the company I was working at went bankrupt a few months ago. I was looking for a new job with my little savings, but I couldn't find one because I have a kid. And just a few days ago, we got kicked out of our apartment for not paying rent. Really? You don't have any family you can rely on? My parents were against me marrying my then-boyfriend, so we basically ran away and eloped. 
and I haven't spoken to them since. Before the marriage, I found out he had been cheating on me, so we broke up. And that must have been difficult. No, I deserve it, so it's fine. But I don't want Akane to suffer. What are you going to do after this? I think I'll have to ask my parents for help. I don't know if they'll even accept Akane, though. Then why don't you work here for a little bit? What? However, we cannot pay a lot of salary because of the difficult business situation. But it comes with the benefits of living in the house, three meals a day, and unlimited access to the hot springs. I think it would be too much for you to see your father in your current condition. How about this as a brief preparation period? Um, are you sure? We should help each other out. Thank you so much. I'll do my best. The next day, I asked Kaho-san to work as a young proprietress in place of my mother, who had been the proprietress. Excuse me, I have a reservation for tonight. Welcome to our inn. I'll show you to your room. Huh? She's able to serve customers well? With mom and dad out of the picture, it was just me, an amateur, causing trouble for the employees. But thanks to Kaho-san's efforts, we became more and more comfortable with each other. Hakane-chan is like the signature girl of the inn. Um, Haruhiro-san, do you have a moment? Yes? Well, I heard before that you were having a difficult time running your business. So, can you tell me about your current situation? If there is anything I can do, I will help you reorganize. Oh, thank you for your consideration. To be honest, we're on the verge of going out of business. I'm considering remodeling to see if I can somehow rebuild it, but it's out of my budget. Right, I think remodeling is one way of doing it. But, how about we actively advertise the hot spring and food? The hot spring and food? As far as I know, the hot springs here are first class, and the food is very good, even at the three-star level. If we advertise this as our greatest strength, I think the number of guests will increase. But how will we advertise? It must cost a lot. Nowadays, we don't have to use the TV, magazines, or the newspaper because we have social media. If we advertise it ourselves, it'll cost nothing. Right. But you're pretty well informed about this. My father runs a hotel business. I used to focus on advertising strategy and marketing when I worked for my father's company. So, she and I were in the same business. That's why she does her job so well. Wait! Is there something wrong? No, it's nothing. I'll think about it. I had almost given up on the plan to rebuild the inn. With Kaho-san's wisdom, the company gradually made progress. And as a result, the number of guests gradually improved. Two months later, the inn succeeded in turning profits for the first time since I started running it. Hey, Mom! I want to go to the aquarium! <gasps> Don't be selfish! I'll take you some time. What's wrong? No. Haruni! Mom is being mean! She won't take me to the aquarium! Aquarium? She wants to see the dolphin show, but the inn is busy right now. Right. Okay. Then, shall we all go on our next free day? What? You've both helped out so much, and business is doing better because of you both. My parents just gave me tickets to the aquarium, so will you give me the opportunity to thank you for that and for your labor? Uh, but you're the one that helped us. Mom, we can't? Okay. Okay, thank you. So on our next free day, we came to the aquarium. Mom! Hanini! There's so many fish! Hey, Akane, it's dangerous, so don't get too excited. Akane chan has so much energy. <laughs> I think she is happy to finally get to go to the aquarium she's been longing for. Until now. I've not been able to take her anywhere because of my work. A dolphin! So big! Then shall we go to the zoo next? What? Next, we could go shopping! 
Then... Why that much? We can't cause trouble for you any more than we already have. I want you both to be happy. We met randomly, but I think it's fate. Fate? What? Oh, sorry for saying something gross. I was engaged to a girlfriend who cheated on me and then dumped me, so I guess I felt close to you. Uh, please, forget it! It might be fate. What? <laughs> if I ever get the chance to remarry, I like to marry someone like you. Mom! Quickly, come! <laughs> yes, yes, I'm coming. What does that mean? After that, we enjoyed the aquarium to the fullest until it closed, as if nothing had happened. Kaho san, it's your break soon, right? Uh, can I? It looks like you haven't taken a break. One month after the incident at the aquarium, Ian was so busy that the rooms were occupied day after day. One day, when we were so busy that we had no time to rest and we were exhausted. Oh, so this is the Ryokan that's been getting a lot of attention now, is it? Welcome. Wait, Oyakachi-san? Long time no see, Haruhiro. Heyday. I couldn't hide my shock at the sudden appearance of my ex-boss and ex-girlfriend. Just as I was wondering what they were doing here, since their names were on the list of reservations for today. You? Why? Aho-san, you know him? He's my ex-fiancé. What?! So you were working here, Kaho? <laughs> I'm glad you seem well. <laughs> I was so surprised to find out that the scumbag who stole my ex-girlfriend was Kaho's ex-fiance that it made my head spin. Please calm down. Sorry, Kaho-san. I was upset. By the way, what brings you here today? Ah, uh, coverage. Can you get us one room for two people? I am sorry, but we are currently fully booked. If you'd like to interview us, please make a reservation for a later date before coming. Don't be so rigid. Can you do something? You can do it right, Haruhiro. We're close. Even if you say that, we have other guests, so we would like you to leave today. That's why I'm asking you. I helped you in many ways, didn't I? You owe me, don't you? Of course I don't owe someone who stole my girlfriend. I'm sorry, but we can't do things we can't do. Haruhiro, are you holding a grudge because I dumped you? You're a small man. No, I'm not holding a grudge. I'm just speaking in terms of general common sense. After that, the two of them continued to grumble and wouldn't leave. I was thinking of calling the police when... I made a reservation today. Is there something I can help you with? Sorry for the inconvenience. Welcome. What? Dad? Long time no see, Kaho. Why? Let's talk about that later. However... What? Oh, um... Long time no see. I heard everything. I thought you eloped and lived happily with Kaho. But it seems you cheated on her and then dumped her even though she had a child. I didn't dump her. I do feel bad about what I did, but it's the result of what Kaho and I discussed. Yes, if it's something you two decided on, then I shouldn't say anything about it, but... I'll report this to your company. What? Stupid! Apologize right now! Apologize? Why? Kondosuke Hayase. He is the king of hotels, so to speak. Managing a number of hotels not only in Japan, but also outside of Japan. Every travel magazine has a feature on him, and I've interviewed him several times. Uh, we're terribly sorry! We will take your leave now and ask you to please keep this matter confidential? It's up to Haruhiro Kun if this will be kept confidential or not. Even though it was a request for an interview, it was something crazy to do. Uh, Haruhiro, you'll forgive us, right? Oh yeah, I'll get back with you! Of course I'll reject that offer. 
I never want to see your face again. No! Dad, um... Kaho, will you show me to my room? Yes. Kaho-san showed Konosuke-san to his room and gave him his usual hospitality. During this time, though, there was a sense of disquiet as Konosuke-san was silent the entire time. Dad, why did you come here? Actually, Haruhiroku and I go drinking together often. Uh, I'll explain that part. In fact, Konosuke-san lamented about his daughter, whom he'd been estranged from for some time. And when I heard your story from you, I realized that you were the daughter, so I had him secretly come. Really? I was wondering for so long if I was wrong. What? Since you were born, I have raised you strictly as an heir to the family. I was doing this for your happy future. Dad! Six years ago, I was surprised when you brought home a boyfriend over the first time. I wondered if you were already at that age, but on the other hand, I thought it would be okay to let you have some freedom, at least to fall in love. I wanted to know what kind of man he was in case I had to confront him, but my past conduct led to misunderstandings. I am truly sorry. Haruhiro-kun told me about the reconstruction of the inn. It's a really nice inn with good hospitality. Dad, I'm sorry. I thought all this time... I don't know what has happened between them until now, but it is true that it was resolved at this moment. I'm glad the case is settled. Haruhiroku! Yes! Thanks to you, I was able to reconcile with Kaho. I can't thank you enough, and I have one request. What is it? Please continue to look after Kaho for a long time to come. Dad? Yes, of course. Mom, I'm hungry. Who's that? Why are you crying? Akane, sorry for worrying you. This is my dad, and your grandfather. Nice to meet you, Akane-chan! What? Did I look that scary? Dad, make a kinder face. Y yeah, I'll do my best. Then a few days later, rumor has it that my ex-girlfriend has been moved to the provinces and that Deputy Editor-in-Chief Oyakaji has been severely punished because of his past conduct. Meanwhile, the end is thriving thanks to Konosuke's word of mouth in the media. Kaho-san, do you have a moment? Yes? Now that the problem with Konosuke-san has been resolved, there's no reason for you to stay at the inn any longer. So, I would like to talk about what will happen next. Wait a minute. Certainly, living at my father's place would be comfortable and worry-free. But I don't want to. I want to stay with you longer. Is that okay? What? It's okay! I want to be with you forever, too. Kaosan! son If we like each other, then... I don't have to hold back, right? Hold back what? I'm the in center for tonight, mister. Wait, wait. My heart's not ready for this. Huh? How do you and mom look happy? Let me join too? Uh, Akane, John! <laughs> hey, Akane. Would you be happy if Haruhiro-san became your dad? Oh, son! I'd be happy, but Harini is mine! I'm going to marry him! No, Harihisa 
Don is going to marry Mia. Now we can both be having these wives. <laughs> yeah. How do you, son, continue to take good care of us both? <laughs> yes, of course. 